In this video, we're going to show how to fund a BitterX account with Litecoin. Uh, BitterX is a cryptocurrency exchange. To get to BitterX, you go to bittrex.com. And once you sign up and create an account, then the next step will be you want to fund the account. That way you can begin trading. So what we're going to show in this video is how to fund a BitterX account with a Litecoin. So to start out, you need to go to wallets. And once we're at wallets, we have a bunch to choose from here. And there's Litecoin, but suppose we didn't see Litecoin. We'd just type it in, Litecoin, and it would come up. Okay. So these two buttons, the plus is to deposit and the minus is to withdraw. So if we click the plus, we get the ability or what we get is an address. Now I've already clicked generate. Um, if you come to, let's go to a Bitcoin. Let me see, because I haven't done a Bitcoin yet. The plus on Bitcoin. See, it says generate new address. You'd have to click new address, and then it would generate you a new Bitcoin address. Okay, it took a it took them about about a minute and a half to create this address. When I created the Litecoin address earlier, it was very very fast, but the Bitcoin one took a couple of minutes. So look out for that if you do this yourself. Finally, it came through. So that's what it looks like. We're going to go back to the Bitcoin, or the Litecoin, rather. Click the plus, and then we get the, we have the address here. This is how we make a deposit. So the, the warning or the acknowledgement here says, I acknowledge the following information. By depositing tokens to this address, we agree to the, to the recovery policy. Depositing tokens to, to this address other than Litecoin may result in your funds being lost. So we can't send anything to this address that's not Litecoin. And they're, they're saying that they're not responsible for that mistake here. It says depositing tokens to this address other than Litecoin will result in your funds being lost. Okay, so we want to make sure we send Litecoin to this address. So we can't copy. Looks like we got to double click and then copy. So now we have this address. Now we need to go to, we need to get into a Litecoin wallet that has funds. This one has no balance currently and we want to send Litecoin to it. So for that, I've got a Jax wallet here and I've got one Litecoin available. So we'll go ahead and click send in Jax. We'll paste a receiving address in, which is the address that we just copied from BitterX, and we're gonna put the amount of half a Litecoin, and then we will click send. Send confirmation, send 0.5 Litecoin to this receiving address, mining fee 0.004 Litecoin. Confirm, transaction sent, And our new um, transaction just hit our transaction history here. We don't have a block number yet. And in a few minutes, we'll start receiving confirmations. Okay, I've been waiting for about five minutes now. And so far, I've got a pending balance of 0.5 on the BitterX side. Now, one thing that we can do just while we wait is take a look at the transaction. Here inside of Jax, we've got a link to the transaction. If we click it, we get a window that pops up and gives us details on our transaction. We've got no confirmations, and we've been waiting for six minutes so far. Now what I'd like to do is take a look at this in the browser. So I'll copy this transaction ID. I'll close that little window. 
come here we'll type block cipher block explorer and click on this link live block cipher we will need to select which blockchain we want to deal with that's litecoin and then we can put you can put your address or your transaction um, in this field we've got a transaction ID so put that in click enter and we see seven minutes ago this transaction was received we still have no confirmations now if we scroll down here we can see our this one is our account is 0.5 with the W7 you can click that and we see this 0.5 balance um, LTC unconfirmed so this 0.5 balance corresponds to what we're seeing in Bitrex here the 0.5 if we click on the plus we can see our W7 address so this address in Bitrex corresponds with, with the same thing we're seeing here on the uh, in the block explorer Okay, so we'll, we still have zero confirmations. We'll wait a little while longer to let the confirmations come in. And what I'm expecting to see is once we get to six uh, confirmations, then we'll probably see uh, BitterX change this to an available balance. Okay, it's been a couple more minutes and we just got one our first confirmation. And looking on the BitterX side, we're still pending. So we'll wait a little while longer. Okay, a few more minutes now. We see we've got four confirmations now on the Block Explorer. Looking at uh, BitterX, we see three confirmations. So this is kind of showing us that um, BitterX is a little bit behind the lagging the performance of this um, Block Explorer. So we've got four here. And three here, this is just simply because BitterX just isn't keeping up with it performance wise. Now, if we go look further at JAX, JAX isn't even displaying any confirmations yet. So that just goes to show you the performance difference amongst some of these different uh, platforms. See here that JAX, once it detects some, it'll start showing one, two, three in this location for our transaction. Let's go back, refresh. BitterX still at three. If we click here, this is under our pending deposits. We can see up here you kind of have your wallets listed down and then pending deposits. So we've got our address and then our transaction and then our, our number of confirmations. See if, see now we, we're up to five here now on the Block Explorer and still showing us three uh, using the block explorer when you want to see what, what's you know get a more real-time picture of what's going on so i think it'll be a couple more minutes here and so i'll go ahead and pause this video and wait until we see until we get the balance uh the available we want to see the available balance bump up to 0.5 litecoin to verify that this transaction has gone through and that we can begin using the funds to to trade using this uh this bitter x exchange Okay, looking at the uh, Block Explorer, we've now got six confirmations, and we've got a balance of 0.5, received 0.5. Let's go check out the BitterX account. We see we've got available 0.5 down here for pending deposits. We have no pending deposits, and if we look here in our deposit history, we have we can always refer back to this transaction ID, and it looks like our, we're ready to go, ready to make trades uh, on this BitterX, in, using this BitterX account on the BitterX exchange. If we go down and check out the JAX wallet, notice it's still lagging behind a little bit on refreshing and, and getting the that last confirmation. I think uh, I think we're we're good to go. I think we've shown a, a good bit of information here, uh, sending from Jax to BitterX and using the block cipher, uh, block cipher, block explorer to to view the transaction. Hope this video was helpful. 
Please like, subscribe, suggest, comment, and support this Deep Lizard channel. Thanks.